Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing Gate 2016, Set 1, Electrical Engineering, Question Number 7. So the question says that the phase crossover frequency of the transfer function G S is equals to 100 upon S plus 1 whole cube in radian per second is and the options are given here. For this question, you can refer to NPTEL course titled Control Systems Week 9 by Professor C.S. Sankar Ram from IIT Madras. So here it is given that G of S is equals to 100 upon S plus 1 whole Q. So instead of S, let's put J omega. So G J omega is equals to 100 upon 1 plus j omega whole q. So now let's expand the denominator. We will get g j omega is equals to 100 upon 1 plus j omega q plus 3 j omega whole square plus 3 j omega. So now let's separate the real and imaginary terms from the denominator. We will get one minus three omega square plus j three omega minus omega q. Now Let's multiply the complex conjugate of the denominator into the numerator and denominator to separate the real and imaginary numbers. So again here g j omega will become something like this 100 upon 1 minus 3 omega square square plus omega square 3 minus omega square square. And in the numerator, it will become, since we are multiplying the complex conjugate, so here it will come the conjugate minus j omega 3 minus omega square. So now here for phase crossover frequency, we know that the imaginary term will be equal to 0, that is, imaginary of g j omega will be equal to 0. So this means that this term will be 0. So, put, so putting that here, we will get omega 3 minus omega square is equals to 0, which means that omega will be 0 or plus minus root 3. So here phase crossover frequency that is omega pH will be root 3 radian per second. By using this trick, we can solve this question within seconds and this is how we can do it. Since we know that G of S is equals to 100 upon S plus one whole cube. Now for phase crossover frequency, we know that angle of G H at phase crossover frequency will be equal to minus of 180 degree, isn't it? So we have to find out the angle here. So here we can see that G H, the angle of G H will be minus of three, tan inverse omega, isn't it? So this will be equal to 180 degree, minus 180 degree. So minus 3 tan inverse omega is equals to minus 180 degree, minus minus cancel, tan inverse omega is equals to 60 degrees, which means omega is equals to root 3 radian per second. So here we can say that the option will be option A. 
which is root 3 radian per second. Thank <music> you.